There is a saying that charity begins at home. How can somebody have resources that uh, he is, uh, at least on an individual level or on a family level, uh, he's able to use it or misuse it the way he wants and does not pay attention to the fundamental needs of his own people. We are talking about education. We are talking about health care. We're talking about jobs, jobs, jobs. Absolutely. And, and Shaka, I very much sympathize with the thought behind your question that the wealth is in Equatorial Guinea um, where the summit was held. You've got fancy facilities. If you go a few miles away, people, the citizens, don't seem to be enjoying it. And the question is why? My answer is lack of democracy. I think democracy has to come first. What does democracy mean? It means that the people choose who will hold power. And after they choose who holds power, they also constantly monitor to say, here are our priorities. It is not what you think, it's what the people who have the problems think. So if jobs are is what they want, they get jobs. If uh, uh, health is the issue. So I will say that weak democracy in Equatorial Guinea is at the core of the issue. Now, my, my brother, the deputy chairperson of the Africa Union, he's a diplomat. He serves the whole assembly. I, he cannot afford to single out one person. It's not his bailiwick. But no. I think that people who watch the issue realize that, you know, there's been a long debate going on, authoritarian development. Let's get a strong man who will run through development, what he thinks is great. China is a perfect example of that. They don't have multi-party democracy. I always thought that was wrong, and I think that is what you are seeing, that you must strengthen democracy so that the people elect their leaders, and then they tell the leaders what they want. And I think that is the problem in Equatorial Guinea, weak democracy.